guys, this is Matt with 2A Direct, and today we're going to talk to you about uh, CP200 batteries and chargers. And we have a few examples here to go over with you. Uh, first thing we're going to show you how to do is uh, remove a battery from a CP200 radio here. So if we look at the bottom of the radio here, there's a battery latch. And if it's in a locked position, it would be over that way. To unlock it, you'd simply slide it to the side, then push it down, and then you should be able to slide the battery off. And this particular battery here, if you look at the part number, is an NNTN4497CR. So that's Motorola's part number. And some more uh, important information on here at the top, we have a 16.21WH, which stands for total work hours you can get out of this battery. So about 16-hour battery life on there. And then a very important piece of information here, this four-digit number off by itself, the 1352 is actually Motorola's date code. And what this means, basically, the first two digits is for the year, so it's 2013. And then the second two digits here is the actual week within that year, so it's 52. So it's the 52nd week in 2013. That's how you read a date code on a Motorola battery. And... You can see, simply slides back on, and then if you want to lock it in place, slide it to the side, and there's no way that can come off. And then uh, we also have our own battery, um, own version of that battery, and uh, same uh, capacity, so in milliamps it's 2,250, and ours also comes with a spring belt clip, um, so it'll save you a little bit of money there. And as you can see, um, going into the charger here, uh, there's an insert. And as we can see here, this battery is not going to fit in there because Motorola chargers are made to fit all the various batteries for the CP200. So we'd actually have to flip that clip around so the grooves are a little bit further up. Now we can see the battery fits in there nice and snug. The light's on to indicate a charge. And what the lights mean on the charger itself, a steady red is going to let you know that your battery is being charged. If it's a flashing red light, that's bad news, that means your battery is completely dead and it's no good. And if it goes to green, that means it's completely charged. And most of the chargers, they're going to have a breakdown on the bottom of what that means. So only one I didn't touch on is the flashing yellow, which is usually a death sentence as well. You don't want to see that. I'm waiting to charge, but normally it just never proceeds with the charge. So basically, if you have a steady red or a steady green, you're in good shape. Flashing red or yellow you're in trouble. Um, so this here is that slim battery um, by Motorola and their part number is an NNTN4970A. Again we have the date code here 1413 so we know that's 2014 and it's the 13th week and then they have those work hours at the top still so we have 11 work hours and this is the one where if we're going into the charger here you know it's too far up there's space in here, the diodes aren't going to line up, so again we have to pull this clip out, flip it around, and then we can see, alright, the grooves are closer to the pins back there. So now it's lined up, lights on the front, so we're good to go. Now on the uh, six bank charger here, they do it in uh, a similar manner. We have uh, grooves in here so it'll encompass the various sizes of the uh, batteries and you can kind of just go down the line here with the grooves. Alright, so that's some basics on Motorola CP200 batteries, our versions, as well as the originals. We'll be back soon with another radio.